Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another this or that video. Today we're going to be doing a comparison and I'm going to kind of talk to you about um, how the Dermaco 1% Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Gel Sunscreen is similar or not so similar to the Conscious Chemist Sun Drink Hybrid Gel Non-Greasy Sunscreen SPF 50. So these are, the two these are the two sunscreens that we're going to be comparing side by side and trying and testing out and I'm going to show you um, the application of both of them. Obviously that's going to be the main part because I think in a sunscreen comparison video you really have to see how both the sunscreens look, the texture, the way they apply, the way they blend and then the finished look obviously and the finish that they leave behind on the skin. Now the Dermaco Hyaluronic Acid Sunscreen I have been using for a long time. I've gone through tubes and tubes of this. They had in the middle I guess reformulated it as well. I cannot really tell much of a difference between the older formulation and this particular formulation that we have going on currently. They have also created the packaging like the pump on the top right here is a newer as compared to what they had initially. So yeah there is that. And when I got the Conscious Chemist Sun Drink sunscreen and I saw the texture and I tried it out for the first time, I was like, wow, this seems very, very similar to the Damaco sunscreen. So, you know what? Let's try them side by side. I have used this individually. I have used this, like you can tell today in this particular video that I'm filming. Um, I have included a portion of the video which is going to be the, um, the demo part, obviously. Uh, which was by the way filmed a while back which is why you can tell even though I'm wearing black in both of the clips but there are two very very different days clearly so um, yeah in the application clip you will see how both of these apply on the skin and wear on the skin and um, I'm gonna kind of end the intro right here show you the demo and then after the demo I will come back and give you my final thoughts so yes now let's jump on into watching how these two sunscreens apply and look on the skin okay so it's time to do the side by side testing comparison like i mentioned i have the dermaco right here which i'm going to use on this side of my face and then i have the conscious chemist right here which is the sun drink one which i'm going to use on this side of my face so we're going to take one finger length of each of these one finger length and then you can even see that in terms of the color and the texture and stuff also both of these are so freaking similar um, I've never actually done a side by side comparison but I've used both of them and I can tell but I want to see how different the finish is so I'm gonna dot Dermaco on this side of my face And obviously the neck as well and then I'm gonna so I use my pointer finger to dot this and now I'm gonna use my middle finger to dot the conscious chemist one with my left hand I'm gonna try to blend this right in and you can see that when you first start massaging it in it looks a little white and the same thing is gonna happen with this one also okay first start blending both of them look white but as you keep blending okay and I ended up getting sunscreen on my t-shirt as well as mixing up my hands so yeah sorry for that um, but yeah can you see now they're within just like a minute or two of blending this has gotten absorbed without leaving any sort of a white cast 
and if you didn't know that I was using two separate sunscreens, can you actually tell the difference between the left side of my face and the right side? I think I can tell that maybe the conscious chemist is just a tad, just a tad bit more dewy, but maybe it's just the light that is hitting on this side in a certain angle, whereas on this side it's hitting a little differently. I don't know. It could be that. Um, also, if I touch my face, this side feels a little more matte, I want to say. Maybe it is actually different. Like, even on my forehead, I feel like this side looks more dewy than this side. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's a slight differentiate, differentiating factor between the two. But yeah, I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror, um, compare or take notes, obviously. And then um, wear these throughout the day, obviously. <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna get back to you and share my final thoughts. So, yeah. Okay, so now that you saw the side-by-side -side comparison in the demo, even in that video, I was quite clearly stating that the Conscious Chemist Sun Drink has a little bit more of a shiny dewy finish as compared to the Dermaco Hyaluronic Acid, which also still, by the way, gives you a dew and a glow. But if you had to compare the two, I would say this one is a little bit more dewy as compared to this one. Just a tad bit, you know, only when you're looking at them side by side, that's when you can tell the difference. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I know that people don't really wear sunscreen that way, which is why I feel like when I wear this on my whole face and this on my whole face, I cannot really tell much of a difference, you know. Um, by wearing, you know, them multiple times on multiple days in my regular life like this one is, by the way, completely empty at this point when I'm sitting down to film this. Whereas this one I've used so many tubes of so that can tell you I've worn this on multiple occasions and um, I've also have gotten my friends onto it. So I have their reviews on this particular product as well. And by that, I can tell you that both of these are actually very, very similar to each other. Um, so in case you're looking for like a comparison, like you have tried this, but maybe you have not been able to get your hands on this because it's always out of stock. Um, at least it was earlier now. I feel like that issue is not as much prevalent. Maybe they're making more quantity now because they know that this product is that popular. Or maybe you have tried this and you have seen this, but you haven't tried it out and you're thinking, Ki, achha, should I get it, should I not? If you like this, you will like this. And if you like this, you will like this. That is something I can just tell you. Um, that being said, if I have to um, tell you that for me personally, which sunscreen am I going to continue to use? Which one am I going to repurchase? Am I going to get both or am I just going to get one? I feel like having both doesn't make sense because they're so similar to each other. Ki it's just like having duplicates in your collection. Like you might want to have two nude blushes, but they don't have to be the exact same tone of nude blush. Right? You want one to be a little bit more on the nude side. You want the other one to be more on the pink side. Stuff like that, you know, so thoda difference is necessary and especially when it comes to skincare, I feel like having duplicates doesn't really make sense. At least it doesn't really make sense for me. I don't know what you like to do. If you like having duplicates, buy both. But if you don't, um, for me personally, where it really comes down to comparing the two is the price point. So, the Conscious Chemist one comes with 50 ml of product and I would say one bottle of this is going to give you about 20 uses considering how much of product I use. Um, I have actually calculated how many times I've used this and I've used it 20 times to have then completely emptied it up. Um, so 50 ml gives you 20 uses and the MRP of this particular product is 599 essentially 600 rupees whereas on the other hand the Dermaco one comes with 50 grams also gives me 20 uses which again I found to be very similar because again I use the same amount of product for both and both of the bottles come with the same amount of, amount of product as well so that makes sense that I get 20 uses out of both of them so there is nothing to really differentiate there but this one is a lot more inexpensive just the MRP itself this I believe is um, yeah it's written right behind on the packaging as well one bottle of this without any offer without any discount costs you 499 rupees that being said 
you will always not always but you will find domaco on their buy one get one free offer or buy two get two free offer a lot of times like when i'm sitting down to film this a couple of days back they had a buy one get one free offer going on and i bought i'm not even kidding you guys if you follow me on my instagram you would have already seen i'm not even kidding i bought six of these that being said three of them are for my friends and three of them i kept like for myself as backups so um yeah i did end up buying six of them and saved a ton of money obviously but uh, because i got it at buy one get one free i paid like just 250 bucks for like one bottle so this is definitely 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 a lot more inexpensive when it comes to if i have to like compare the two and i know conscious chemist also goes on offers but generally conscious chemist offers are like buy two get one free so it would still not be as low in terms of the price if you get this than if you get this you know so that being said if i have to compare the two price wise i would go for the dermaco and because this is more inexpensive um i feel like if i had to like choose between the two my pick is going to be dermaco even though conscious chemist is amazing and i'm really happy that they're now doing a lot of really good skin care as compared to like earlier when they just had the serums and the cleansers um i did not really enjoy dermaco in fact i still feel like i would not try out one of their serums um just because i've not had a good experience in the past but when it comes to the moisturizer products and the sunscreens i think they're doing a really good job and i want to appreciate that so that's why i wanted to do this comparison video and mention it and talk about it with you guys but at the end of the day i feel like um long term this is the one that i'm going to stick to so um uh, yeah i really really hope that this review was helpful i'm sorry if it was a little too long um but yeah i really wanted to mention every single point um and share with you all of this so i really really hope it was helpful but yes i'm going to go now um thank you so much for watching and if you found it helpful if you want me to compare more sunscreens which you feel are similar to each other i'm also interested to compare the doctor shades and the dermaco one as well because i feel like those two are also compared a lot but uh, the doctor shades i feel like is more moisturizing and also a little bit more on the dewy side so um yeah let me know if you would want me to compare dermaco with doctor shades um the ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen and if you want any other um, comparison videos or any videos in general that you want me to do um let me know down below in the comment but yeah that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye